Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now here, Wakefield City Academies Trust has pulled out of running all of its 21 schools just days into the new academic year. The Trust admitted it couldn't improve things as quickly as it needed to. The Department for Education said most of the schools were performing below average, but insisted academies remained robust. They were hailed as a school's revolution. Brought in under Labour and expanded by the Conservative Lib Dem coalition, academy schools shifted power from local government to head teachers, overseen by trusts. But although their supporters say they've driven up standards, they've been highly controversial. Last year, then-Chancellor George Osborne announced all schools must become academies by 2022. The plans were later abandoned after strong criticism from teaching unions. Opponents argued that academies needed far more oversight, that changes have come in too fast and trusts have too many schools to manage. Today, Wakefield City Academies Trust announced it had asked the government to re-tender its schools after concluding it couldn't make the improvements many of the 21 schools needed. Gareth Man Tai was the vice chair of governors at a local school when they decided to join the Wakefield City Academies Trust. Everybody wanted to join WCAT and they kept saying yes. So a lot of these schools were underperforming, there were schools with problems, needed a lot of support over quite a large area and there just isn't the strength within the Academy Trust at that level to provide it to that many schools. The Education Department has defended academies, saying academy trusts operate under a strict system of oversight and accountability, more robust than in council-run schools, allowing us to take swift action to deal with underperformance, including transferring schools to new trusts where necessary. Others are now asking whether more overstretched academy trusts will founder. Well, with me now is the former Chief Inspector of Schools for England, Sir Michael Wilshaw. Um, so, should this problem have been anticipated? Well, first of all, I'm a big fan of academies because academies have brought in uh, greater energy and vitality into the system, bringing in outside providers, a lot of them head teachers, successful head teachers, uh, has worked in a lot of these trusts and there are many trusts that are doing a good job and their schools are doing better than the local authority schools that they uh, took over. But there are two important um, issues that Ofsted highlighted when we, when we looked at a number of trusts and the performance of underperforming trusts. The first one is due diligence. The Department of Education have got to make sure that the sponsor of the trust, and often they're taking over a large number of underperforming schools, have got sufficient capacity to improve them. And we found that many trusts didn't have that capacity and should never have taken on a large number of, of schools. It, so in, in, different, in different parts of the country. And the second most important thing, equally important, is that once a trust has got 20, 30 schools, that they've got the ability to monitor them effectively. Because all my experience of going into special measures and difficult schools is that you need to be onto it all the time, day after day. Well, the Education Department said that they first became aware of a problem after the 2016 results showing a decline. Mm. So they've had a year since then. Should they have intervened earlier? Well, that's you? the issue I'm, I'm making. They've got to, to, to know what's happening on the ground. We uh, rightly, I think, um, held local authorities to, to account for not challenging and supporting schools in the way that they should have done. And that's why in the main local authorities are giving way to these multi-academy trusts. But we blame them for not intervening and supporting schools in the way that they should. We mustn't make sure that that issue is replicated in these trusts. And but they must have the capacity to intervene very quickly. But do you think this is a one-off or is it a well, problem in know, other models? In my letter to, to, to Nikki Morgan when she was Secretary of State where we identified seven underperform large underperforming trusts. Which we said there's a bit last year. That's right. We said that there were there were these two issues of capacity and monitoring. And we found that there were schools belonging to one trust in the Isle of Wight and in Northumberland. And, you know, you, you, how, how you can monitor 
uh, schools across the country in, in, in that way is very, very difficult. So and that is you... not surprising that, uh, that, that that trust did badly. But are you surprised that, given that you wrote March 2016, that this trust was no, allowed not, to go under? No, I'm not surprised. As I say, unless these trusts which are taking over underperforming schools, have sufficient capacity to improve them, have a plan to improve them, and have got the staff and leadership skills to improve them, then they're not going to work. And, and some of them obviously haven't got that capacity. So should This the isn't the first time it's of, happened. So mm. The second, actually. But, I mean, mm. should the expansion of multi-academy trust be halted now? No, it shouldn't be halted. But unless the department ensures that they're getting the right people to run them, that they have the capacity to improve difficult schools with a long legacy of underperformance and failure. Unless they, sh they have the capacity to monitor them, we've got this new tier of oversight, if you like, local authorities are no more, this new tier of oversight called regional schools commissioners uh, reporting to a school schools commissioner in Westminster. Unless they have the capacity to intervene, to know what's happening on the ground and intervene quickly, this will happen again and again and again. So do you think that will happen? It, it, will, it will, unless those issues I've already referred to. But do you have confidence on. those issues will be addressed? That's up to the Department and the Secretary of State. And not up to you anymore, because no. you've retired. Thank you very much, Sir Michael Wilshaw, for coming in. I've been